Hello everyone, my name is Wemplar, and today I'm teaching you how to build this car with the Motorhead DLC. Let's get right into it. I like starting my car builds with the front, and here we have to go with the front wing. This thing just looks amazing for F1 cars, and it has a decent amount of aerodynamics, which is really gonna help us with our traction later. And then we can just kinda keep going with that shape here, so I'm gonna add some 1x4s, which are gonna match up perfectly here with the angle of the front wing. Now, here in the front, we're also gonna have our steering, and here, I think it's a pretty clear choice. We're going with the racing hinge. Now we can just kind of extend our body here, so you just get a little bit longer of a chassis to work on. So now we have something like this going, and now it's time to attach our seat. And for our seat, we of course have to go with the racing seat as well, because we're gonna race this thing. And as you can see, the proportions look pretty good, so I'm gonna keep building with this. So now that we have the front chassis pretty much done here, let's go ahead and add some engines. And I'm gonna go with the Dragon engines here, personally, because they have a very small footprint, but a lot of power. So let's just add them right there. However, the engines need intakes, at least for aesthetics. So I'm actually gonna use the new U-bracket pieces here for intakes, because I realized they actually work really well. So if you just rotate them like this, they look like really, really cool intakes. However, right now they're just kind of hanging in there, which doesn't look that cool. So I'm gonna add some wedges here, and we can actually start building the underbody of this. So I'm just gonna attach some 1x2s here, maybe a 1x3 like this, and now we have something going here. So to make this not just be a gaping hole, I'm gonna cover it with a rounded wedge 2x1x1. By one by one. And this is not the same thing as just a rounded 2x1, but this has kind of a nicer curve to it. So I'm just gonna have that and have that on both sides. And for this section right here, I'm gonna use a 4x1, because I think they look very sleek. So, now we've started to make some decent progress here, and it's starting to look really good. So, let's go ahead here and start with the big air intake up here. Now, me personally, I like to have a pretty big air intake here on, on top, because I just think it looks cool. So I'm gonna use a 2x2x2 block in combination with a two rounded corners here, and this should start giving us the proper shape here, as we can see. And now to kind of smooth out that shape, I'm just gonna go ahead here and add some corner pieces. These are the longest corner pieces in the game, and they just look really, really nice here. And to kind of blend the transition from this block to this block, I'm just gonna add some 2x2 two two wedges. And now we almost got our frame done here, so I'm gonna start expanding backwards here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more engines, because it's an F1 car, it's supposed to go fast. And here, I'm actually gonna use a trick that I found out pretty recently, which is that by using racing hinges, they actually look pretty much just like F1 suspension. And of course, if you want to do this, you have to remove the keybinds, because otherwise you're gonna steer with your suspension, which is not really optimal. And then we can just start here smoothing out the shape here with some more wedges. And now for the back section, which is also pretty iconic for an F1 car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the back just this much here, so not by much, and then I'm gonna attach some 2x2 two two shields here, just to kind of hide the engines, because I don't think the engines look that good in my opinion. And a cool thing here we can do in specifically this update is that we can use this logic block, the hue light panel. So if you just attach four of them, like this, and then we have them be assigned to S, they give us brake lights, which I think is really awesome. So, now it's time to attach a spoiler to the back. And for this, I'm gonna go with the rear ring, because in my opinion, it's just the best looking one. And I'm gonna dupe it and just move that one up a little bit. And to attach this, we're actually gonna use a shield block. And at least in my opinion, this just looks really good. As you can see, it kind of mimics the side wings of an F1 car. So now we're starting to get pretty close to the end result here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add wheels. And here we're gonna go with the racing wheels because we're gonna do some racing. And 
And as you can see, now we have some wheels. However, I don't really like the way these racing hinges are pointing. In my opinion, having them be in this direction would look cooler. However, if we do that, then our steering is going to be reversed. There's a simple fix to that though, and it's just taking them and then rotating them again. And that's going to cancel out the rotation we did, and we're going to have steering in the right direction. If you're looking at this build right now and you think that it looks pretty weird, you're probably correct. Because it's missing the skirt. Now the skirt of an F1 car is what Ashley loves to have all that downforce. And we're going to build this with shield blocks here. As you can see, I'm just going to take these 2x4 shields and just place them underneath the entirety of the car body. And as you can see, already it looks much much better. And to kind of hide this engine here, as well as making it look better, I'm going to place shield blocks. And I'm going to use a inverted corner. And as you can see, that kind of just blends the shape into the skirt much more. So now we're actually pretty close to being finished. And if we test drive it, it drives, but it feels very slippery. As you can see, when I start turning, it doesn't really stop turning. And this is a pretty common thing that happens when you build cars. And the reason is that our mass is too far back. However, there's a very simple way to fix that. So what we're going to do is that we're actually going to remove this block right here and instead add a weight block into 1x2s. And not only will this push our weight forwards, but it's actually also going to make us faster because it's going to just push it towards the ground much more. And as you can see, now we have some proper F1 handling. This actually feels pretty nice. As you can see, I can turn, but I can't turn too sharp. Because in real life, you have to slow down just a little bit. And as you can see, if I just slow down a little bit, I can take the turns perfectly fine. And in my opinion, that's what makes F1 cars feel like F1 cars. As you can see, if we come to a stop over here, we also have our brake lights, which I think are really cool. So now, it's time to paint it. And first of all, we're gonna set the block skin to clean. Because it just looks way better. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all the shields and I'm going to paint them black, carbon fiber. I'm also going to paint all the spoilers in carbon fiber because that's actually what spoilers are made of in real life. So as you can see, we have the carbon fiber there on the front wing and then we're going to paint these all black. Now, there's a lot of options when it comes to color schemes, but I think I'm going to go with the black, purple and the white one. So I'm going to start here with a white spoiler like this and i'm just gonna go ahead and paint everything here i'm just gonna try to select as much stuff as i can and just select every single piece here in the center which is a little difficult but i think i can manage it And now I've painted most of it. <laughs> I missed a few spots here and there, but that's just what happens. And we're also going to paint these here. And for our steering hinges and also our suspension, I'm going to paint them gray and do metallic because I just think they look really cool that way. And for the back here, we're actually going to go ahead and paint the hue light panels completely black because then they just look better. And even though these engines aren't going to be visible ever, I'm just going to go ahead and paint them regardless. Then next, I'm going to paint the wheels and I'm just going to make them all black like this because I think it looks really cool. This car looks cool, but it's a little bland. So I'm going to use some decals to hopefully make it look way better. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and decal this U bracket right here. And I'm just going to make it a wedge here. So I'm going to use a square painted white on both sides. And they just look way more coherent. So it kind of slopes inwards toward this stripe. And I don't want to do the same process again because that would be pretty annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and it should copy. Nice. And for the racing seat, it looks nice already, but I think having the black halo there looks way better. Now this thing looks cool already, but there are of course a few details that we can add. 
So the first one is obviously gonna be, we need a number. We're an F1 car, so we're gonna have a cool number. And I think the coolest number is seven, but if you wanna go for any other one, that's of course completely okay. And I'm just gonna paint the inside purple, so it matches with the other colors on the car. A thing that looks pretty weird here is that the air intakes lead into a white block and a purple block. It just looks kind of weird. And to fix this, we're going to select all the blocks that we can see through the intakes. And we're going to go ahead and put a decal here. So I'm just going to select a square decal, size it up, and just try to line it up pretty, pretty good here. And I'm just going to do a dark gray color. And as you can see, now the air intakes look way better. So, to make the upper air intake on the F1 car, we're gonna select all the blocks that we want to decal and select a circle shape. But most air intakes aren't circular. So what we're gonna do is that we're first gonna select our colors, which are gonna be gray and black in my case. We're gonna line it up so it's perfectly centered and we're gonna look this direction. And by angling ourselves downwards like this, we're actually stretching the decal, making it look way more elliptical. And once you've lined it up, apply the decal, and it looks very nice. Now, the last piece missing from this F1 car shaped puzzle is some branding. F1 cars have a lot of advertisements on them, so let's try to add a few. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into mirror mode here, just to make sure that we get it on both sides. For the advertisements, in my opinion, there's only one correct choice, Melvin's. I don't know what he's selling, I don't know what he's producing, but I want to buy it regardless. So I'm going to paint mine maybe black and white like this or black and white like this, which I think looks pretty nice. And as you can see, we have it on both sides. The spoilers are also really good places for advertisements. So let's place some Melvin logos there as well. And for this one, I'm actually going to have a purple background. And then let's just add some more Melvin's branding right here, just because we can. And now if we spawn in, we have our fully functional, pretty good looking F1 car. So there we have it people, a simple, fun F1 car that is easily repainted into any color scheme you want. If you want to get this exact version of it, just search for Wemplar's F1 car in the workshop. If you want to get the Motorhead DLC, that will be linked down below, where you'll also find a link to my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this, but for now, this has been Wemplar, and I'll see you again the next time. Peace out.